Hello Internet, Ben here with a little what in the world am I doing? So, what am I doing? What I have been working on, I've always wanted to do this. You see those little vision lines moving around? I've always wanted to have something. I don't know, I've always wanted to make a game that had that and I just never really knew how to code it. Uh, I'm not gonna say that I now know how to code it, it's more like I found an algorithm online that does this thing for me. I'm gonna grab the other controller and move the other wizard. Um, they're meant to be wizards, that's, you know, hence the hats. Um, yeah, so I found some algorithms online, I will absolutely link to them. Um, oh, I can also shoot little wizardy magic. Where's the other guy? Uh, although it's not meant to be, oops, a dueling game, so you won't hurt each other. I'm gonna have, it's gonna be co-op, I love co-op stuff. Although, see, I say this, I don't know how far along I'm gonna get, it, get at it. Um, I mean, I've got this far. I'm definitely going to do more. Will it ever be something I release? Eh, hard to say. Um, the inspiration for this game, besides definitely wanting to have pixel-perfect line of sight like this, which requires polygons. I haven't used Mono Game to do um, polygons before. I have always done uh, sprite-based, so not an option here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've, I mean, I've done tile-based line of sight with roguelikes using... Um, libtcod and years before that hand rolled although once I got into roguelikes again and found libtcod why would you do anything else you wouldn't you'd be crazy to um just want to see if I can get another funny oops wrong button yeah, trying to look for weird vision guns um <laughs> it's hard to control two at once uh but yeah I've never I've never done this and it's something I've, I've been interested in, in doing um you can see that the it is still on a grid right the map is on a grid that's not necessary the algorithm I found online does not require you to be on a grid um, but for simplicity of movement and doing collisions, I was like, I'm not doing pixel perfect collisions, I'm just going to do grids, it'll be fine. Um, also, you can see that the vision kind of pulls inside where the walls are on the grid. Um, that would be harder to do. I mean, and, you know, how would I generate a map? I have a pixel perfect, you know, cellular automata or whatever you wanted to do, I guess. But to the pixel, I just nah, I didn't want to deal with it. Um, because then you have to then finding the grid is harder, and that's what it really came down to, right? In order to get this to work, you have to break. In order to get this vision to work, you have to break the level into line segments, and the line segments block vision, and fine. Um, but uh, if you have all sorts of curves and craziness, it's hard to do that. And there are algorithms that help you do that too. I was like, I'm done with bananas algorithms. I can barely understand. Um, and they exist, and I can't remember the names. I'll put links to everything again in the description, even the stuff I didn't use. Um, so anyway, so I went for a grid for a number of reasons, right? Easier collision, um, easier making the, uh, you know, finding the segments for, for generating these. Wow, they just move so fast. Um, yeah, everything was easier on, on a grid, even if I am using fancy line of sight, so. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, what, what, how far will I get? I don't know if this was interesting to you at all. If you'd like to see this made into some kind of funny co-op dungeon crawling or wizardy game, please let me know. Um, because having people who are interested, you know, always motivates me. Um, otherwise, it's a good chance to just I just drop it. And that's not I'm not trying to be like you better let me know or else. It's just like I I, I have so many ideas and I start and stop them. And I know from experience that that one of the things that really gets me to keep working on a game is, is having people who say this is great this is fun oh you should do this oh you should do that you know getting all that kind of feedback is, is motivating so um and anyway regardless again links in the description if you want to make something like this yourself um i had to tweak a lot of the code again it's very bizarre code uh and the site i found um primarily has the code in a language that isn't meant to be compiled it gets transpiled into c sharp or javascript or whatever you want and i had to kind of take a weird combination of the javascript and c sharp um, I mean, I would put my implementation online, but it's already very specific to the way I store the levels and, you know, being on a grid and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like it's it's a little more limiting. Um, but anyway, I will stop talking. Uh, thank you again and goodbye.